This is gonna be my first tattoo right now. donated $25,000 as long as I got the tattoo today. Um, and he just texted me, hopes I didn't chicken out. So I'm ready to go here. A little raffle to see who gets to do the tat. Soapy. I wish my legs weren't so white. It'll show up better. I'm a little nervous, yeah. I've never gotten a tattoo. It's so small. It feels like when a cat scratches you real It just feels like I'm crossing a threshold. It's, yeah. it's kind of a life event for me it's right a now. It's yeah. You're going to do great. And if you start crying, I'll cry with you. It'll be a really bond. We need the sun to come out. <laughs> well, I won't feel afraid. Here we go. It's just a little guy. Let me set up my machine, get my inks going. Should You're I sit? gonna lay down. Lay down. Mm -hmm. And your head's gonna go this way. Okay. You're so tough, you're so strong, you are a bad bitch. <laughs> you're gonna do great. We are here at St. Taddy's Day. Behind me right now, Ted Karras is getting his first, maybe last, tattoo. I am here with none other than Drew Garrison. Drew. Give me, give me, give me a little bit of play by behind. Give me, give me the vibe here. What's happening? We've been trying to bully Ted into getting a tattoo since this whole thing started, and he has refused. But there's one man that can make it happen: Joe Burrow. Twenty-five thousand dollars if Ted got the tattoo pledged to the village of Marici. You know Ted loves the village. He's not going to say no to that. So he's back there. He's getting it. He's got it up kind of high. He can hide it, but we may see it during training camp. I don't know. Today was good, man. I mean, the enthusiasm since he brings. Since we started this, I mean, true fans in the fanatical sense of the word. And you got the Cincy tattoo. I did, yeah. I got mine. I put it right under the helmet on the back of my leg. Tell me, as somebody that doesn't have any tattoos, what is Ted experiencing right now as somebody that's going into the first time? Um, he's probably a little bit nervous, but he's had a busy day. Um, he's a tough guy, though. NFL offensive lineman. Uh, stings a little bit, but he'll be all right. He's a tough dude. I've seen him, like severely injure his shoulder, I think, and continue playing. So I think it'll be all right. You know, I've got a feeling that he's seeing worse pain probably against the Tennessee Titans at the end of that game when he's getting punched and then decided to say, uh, you, Tennessee. So I think that was easy for him. He looks like a guy that uh, he, he didn't even notice. All right, my boy, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Hell yeah. And so we're at free agent dinner on uh, Thursday. So we had Zach Moss, Geno Stone, Mike G., all the coaches, and we were talking about the event, obviously, and you know they were all saying, "Well, I'm not getting it," and I was like, "Well, I, Are you I'd ready? I'm ready to go." Oh, man, I was really hoping you would let out a blood card on this. A little tickler. <laughs> um, and everyone was like, "Well, you have to get the tattoo." Yeah. But I wanted to raise some money for it, and I thought 25 grand would be a good threshold if we opened it up to the public. And Joe. In true Joe Burrow fashion, just said he'll he's handling it all right there, in kind of a challenging way. Stood up to shake my hand, and uh, here we are. I'm excited to get a tattoo. It's not too bad, actually. Yeah. No. So we're doing the Cincy outlined, and then the patches filled in, right? Yeah. Just so they don't bleed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Soap here actually recruited a bunch of the people that are here. Really. She was. Uh, so it's full, it's full circle. I DM'd her on Instagram and 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 told her about the event and she I mean I, she must have recruited at least a third of the people that are here. So we're very grateful to her. It's very fitting that Soap is doing it. I'm honored to do this for you. I was super stoked just to be here in general. And they set everything up so well and everything was so organized that it went so smooth. It felt really seamless and not stressful at all which I really appreciated. And I hope we get to do this again. St. Taddy's Day 25. That'd be sick. <laughs> That's a full send. Hopefully with a little Lombardi element or something like that. That, yes. We're putting the cart before the horse there. We have a lot of ball to play. There we go. But we, we just goal. can't let 2023 ever happen again. The whole Cincy hat thing really, really took off. And 
That's what today was, was a thank you to this community for their support. And it's really exciting that we're partnering with Ken now to bring a facility to Cincinnati. Um, there's really no infrastructure as it stands for independent living for adults with Down syndrome and autism and all sorts of developmental disabilities. Um, so we're gonna start whittling away at these wait lists. We're gonna build the infrastructure. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. It feels like, I mean, I say like a little, just kind of scratching you a little bit. It's yeah. like a cat scratch. Yeah. I can't say enough thank you to Matt. He runs the Cincy hat for us. He put on this event, really. It's been about, what, seven weeks, eight weeks of hard work? Only possible because of the artists. Only possible because of the artists. Is it looking good? It looks good, yeah. It's a symbol of do-goodedness. That's how I'm spinning the sail at home, but. <laughs> well, Ted, you're tatted now. I'm tatted. Yeah, you are. You look like a baddie. It looks good. How you feel? Are you already done? I'm done. Wow. Dude, you did awesome. Wow. <laughs> look at that. Good. Good job. That looks incredible. Thank you. I tried my best. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm very honored it was you. I can't believe he actually did it. The Joe Burrow impact is not just signing free agents, it's actually tattooing. Uh, our favorite offensive lineman, sorry to all the others, but Ted Karras is a legend already. Uh, I'm impressed that he went through with it. Uh, he didn't flinch. He, he, he enjoyed it. He talked. He, he talked through an interview the entire time. Happy birthday, bud. Is this a cake? Yeah, it's a cake. Oh, unbelievable. Wow, thank you so much, guys. Unbelievable. <laughs> what a day. <laughs> James, you were bedside with Ted Karras. <laughs> Matt yeah. with Cincy Hat as well, looking like a concerned mother. Tell me what it was like being up so close with Ted getting his first, maybe last tattoo. It was entertaining because Ted was legitimately nervous. A week ago, I don't think he planned on getting a tattoo on St. Taddy's Day. But you know what happened? Joe Burrow said, I'm QB1, you're my center. I will give you $25,000 to your cause, the village of Marici. You gotta get the tattoo. If I could get your takeaway from what you witnessed here overall, your, the vibe, all of it, get, tell me. One part of it, I was talking with Ted during this, I was like, you signed here like two years ago this week. And to go from that to the first Cincy hat being created, and he said it was in July of 2022, no one knew about it then, of course. And to have the impact that they've had on so many, and it's going to impact Cincinnati a ton. They have so much in the works. They're working with Ken Anderson's foundation and everything that Matt and Ted have done. It's awesome. You know you're doing something good when Joe Bro's like, hey, yeah, I'll give you 25K, <laughs> you know? And now you're tatted up. So it was a heck of an event, and uh, it would not shock me if there are, uh, there's another round two of St. Taddy's Day next year. If you missed it this year, we may have another one, like James said. Appreciate everyone here that showed up, said, hey, we watch Enter the Jungle. We watch Cincinnati Bengals talk. It was unreal, and they're all here for a great cause, like we said. Thanks for the support. Thanks for all of the, the Bengals fans supporting us, supporting Ted, supporting a great cause. It was a lot of fun today, and I know this is still just the beginning because it's like 18 months old. It's crazy, but uh, the Cincy hat, St. Taddy's Day, what a success. It sounds like he's going to take care of his tattoo, though. He listened to the instructions at the end, which is key. The tattoo aftercare, Ted is the type of guy that's going to nail it. And put that on there, become his giant itchy. Um, the whole thing's 